As part of our continuing series, Climate Change, the New Normal, we're taking a closer look at some of the ways that changing climate could impact your health. We're happy to have Dr. George Luber join us. He's the Associate Director for Climate Change at the Centers for Disease Control. And Dr. Luber, you know, we talk about climate change affecting our health. It's much more than your joints aching when a storm is approaching, right? Talk about some of the bigger impacts. Absolutely, Kelly. Um, well, first of all, we have the impacts from extreme weather events. Uh, extreme weather events are predicted to get more intense and more frequent, and certainly those have had a history of, of affecting humans' health, from heat waves to extreme uh, precipitation or heavy rainfall events and flooding to uh, coastal storms, including coastal storm surge. Um, but also, climate change will impact the ecosystems in which diseases either thrive or don't thrive, and changing the distribution of those, things like Lyme disease and West, West Nile, are all sensitive to weather events and climate trends over a long time. So we're quite concerned about the redistribution or changing geography of certain diseases. And doctor, as the globe heats up, you mentioned heat waves, they could become more extreme and unfortunately deadly. Absolutely, we've seen this in a number of unfortunate cases where we've had high deaths or mortality associated with these events. 2003 in Europe, we saw about 70,000 excess deaths from a heat wave that was unlike anything they had ever seen before. And again, in 2010 in Russia, another heat wave, unfortunately, was responsible for about 50,000 deaths. We know that they can be large scale killers um, and we uh, have to institute public health prevention me measures ahead of these heat waves and get the message out through uh, uh, channels like yourself in order to, to, to warn the public of the threat. And you mentioned prevention, that's key, but what else can be done about these problems that we know of? Well, there's a lot to be done with understanding what these trends are in the climate science. We need to engage the climate science in a real head-on fashion to understand uh, how we can use these as predictive tools to understand where um, these events might occur, uh, how big they might get, uh, and also to understand the vulnerabilities of the populations that are in these locations in order to, to develop public health prevention measures to protect people uh, from these exposures, to prevent large-scale uh, catastroph catastrophes like we've seen before. All right, Dr. Luber with the CDC, thank you so much for joining us today.